Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to train a custom SSD MobileNet model for our own custom objects. Now before we start all the files and the scripts which you need in order to train your own model I have provided this inside this repository. So if you are following along with this video you need to clone this repository. Now. So today in this video we are going to train a model which will be detecting different different types of toys. So let's because I've already cloned this repository I'm not going to clone it so let's just simply jump inside the directory and then let me show you how the video our test video file looks like. So videos and toys. Now you can see that inside this I'm using I mean I have placed different different toys here like this and then we will probably be training a model to detect these toys and we also have this phone so if you want you can also use this test video for your own purpose because I've already provided this test videos along with all the videos which I generally record inside this video videos directory so you can use these videos or if you want you can place your own videos inside this directory to prepare data set for that if you don't want to create uh, if you don't want to train your own model, I have provided my models as well. So all the model files you will find find inside this my models directory. You can download the PTH file, convert that into ONNX and then simply run it on your Jetson device to see how it looks like. Now let's get back to our uh, data set. Now once you have cloned this repository what you need to do is you need to place your test video file inside this videos directory but because I'm just going to use this twice.mp4 video file so that's fine for me. Now next step is to prepare the data set. Now in order to prepare the data set we are going to use this prepare data set python script. This is going to generate the files and all the directory structure which we need in order to train our model and all those files and uh, and the data structure will will be present inside this data directory so let's prepare the data first and then we'll see how it goes maximize it a bit and then i'm going to call python3 prepare data set now it will first ask me the name of the model so let's just call it toys and now it will ask me which file video file to use so I'm going to use this toys.mp4 so I will mention toys.mp4 and then it will it has loaded the video and then it's probably going to extract all the images from this now if you want more images you can definitely uh, customize this python script as per your choice and then it will generate more images so it has round about saved 124 images let's go to the directory and toys directory and inside this it has created all these directories because we need it for our training and if you go inside the jpeg images you can see all these images we have inside here now let's do one thing the data set is prepared now let's go to the labels and start labeling them now in order to label them i will be using the label image software which i've also uh, mentioned in my previous video but if you want you can use any other uh, any other software because there are lots of uh, annotate annotation software available these days so let's go back and let's open up a terminal and simply call label image now let's open the directory uh, data directory toys and then images let's load all the images and then I will change save directory data directory toys and annotations and then click open now let's start annotation so let's name it so this toy I think is the road roller but let's just call it a roller and then click save and then next image and then let's adjust the bounding box and then next and then let's adjust the bounding box again okay so probably it's going to take like 30 minutes to complete the annotation for all the images so i'm just going to do the annotation and then we'll resume from there Okay, so I have now finished uh, labeling my images and let's just quickly 
uh, verify if the images looks like so I can see that the annotation looks perfectly fine perfect so now let's do one thing let's create now this is done so now now we just have to create a labels directory labels file inside which we will put the name of all our uh, uh, the labels and then we will start our training so let's close this label image software and then inside our toys directory inside the data directory inside toys directory this is where our data set is present we have to create a document which will call as labels.txt and inside this we just have to uh, enter the names of all the labels which we have used so i guess we have uh, roller we have car and then we have phone that's it we just have three labels so all of our data set preparation is now complete we have everything we need and now let's just start the training process now in order to start the training i've come back to my home directory and inside this i've already mentioned a command.txt file let's just open this and let me just copy it and close this and let's open up a new terminal let's maximize this and let's paste this so inside this we have to mention few things so first of all here we have to mention the name of our uh, model so this is toys and then here as well we have to mention toys and then batch size we are going to take two which is fine workers five epochs i guess 500 is also fine now let's run this and see if it throws any error i think it's running perfectly fine okay so perfect so now it has started training we can see epoch zero and uh, let's let's continue to run it for probably next 30 40 minutes and then we'll see how the loss is going for the model So the training is currently going on and I just wanted to quickly analyze how the training graph looks like. So let's do one thing. Let's go back to our directory, open up a terminal and let's call the results Python script. And let's enter our model name and we can see if I maximize this. So we can see that our loss was somewhere around 2.5 and it has now dropped to 0.5 something and it has just only completed 33 epochs and if i close this so i can see the best checkpoint we have is 0.43 which i think should be fine so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to stop the training now and i'm going to copy this uh, this checkpoint along with the labels directory inside my jetson device and then we'll we will build the model in the jetson device so let's switch to the jetson okay so i'm now inside my uh, Jetson device and what I've done is that inside the Jetson inference installation directory inside the models directory I have created a toys directory and inside this I have pasted the checkpoint as well as the labels uh, file which I've copied from my Ubuntu PC where I was doing the training so now what we are going to do is we are going to build the ONNX model first so let's open our terminal and here I will just simply type python3 ONNX and model directory models and toys so this will now convert my pth uh, checkpoint to the onnx uh, format perfect so this is done now next thing what we are going to do is that we are going to use the detectnet utility and then we will use the onnx format to convert into the trt and then finally we'll do the inferencing over our video file so let me just quickly copy its command because it's quite a lengthy uh, command okay so this is the command so this is the detectnet utility which comes pre-installed when we install the jetson inference project now i have mentioned the models oops sorry so i have mentioned the models path as well as the labels path and then all these are the default uh, parameters which i haven't changed and at the end i have mentioned my toys uh, video file which uh, over which i'm going to do the inferencing 
So now this is going to build the engine file and then it will start the inferencing. So let's run this. This is going to probably take some 10 to 12 minutes and then we'll resume once it's inferencing. Perfect. So our in engine file is built and it has started doing the inferencing and we can see that it is working perfectly fine. I mean the results are accurately matching with what the toys are and even the confidence is 100%. So I think we just used around 200 images and we just ran it for like I guess 50 to 60 epochs but you can also do the same but if you have I'll probably recommend you need to have at least 500 or 600 uh, images and then probably run your training for more than 500 or 600 epochs but this looks really good I can see it is detecting all the objects perfectly fine so this is how you can train your own custom SSD mobile net model and then you can then simply convert it to ONNX and then simply build the engine file so I hope you have learned something new from this video and thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.